Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Let's bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Dominic Brazil and Otto Wallen. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So um, yeah, they recently fought in the undercard of uh, Broner versus Santiago on Showtime. Um, fight went the distance, surprisingly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this fight to go the distance, but fight did go the distance, and fight ended with Otto Wallin winning by unanimous decision with all three judges having it in his favor 116 112, 118 110, 117 111, all in favor of Otto Wallin, and rightfully so. He boxed a beautiful fight, went out there, and pretty much schooled the crap out of Dominic Brazil. He took him to school, took him to school. That right jab and left straight was too much for Brazil. Brazil couldn't figure him out. Brazil looked confused in there. Brazil was just lost, man. I mean, it was a spectacular uh, performance from Otto Wallen, in my opinion. Um, you know, I was at work when this fight took place, so I wasn't fully paying attention to it. I had to do work stuff. Uh, well, I actually missed a chunk of it, but well, for the most part, when I started watching it, like I was watching it in the beginning, and the next thing I know, you know, towards the later rounds, I see Brazil's face, and as you guys can see, he's right eye was all swelled up um you know the left hand was landing all night long uh the jab also was also landing it, it the follow-up of wallen was pretty damn solid in this fight he he went out there and put on a boxing clinic a heavyweight boxing clinic on brazil brazil looked tired towards the end he looked sloppy um just goes to show that he can't he can't compete against the top level man i feel like Otto wallen has what it takes to compete in the top level so with this loss for Dominic Brazil, he suffers his third loss now. Third loss going the distance. First time losing going the distance. And, um, yeah, maybe he needs to reconsider. Now, I mean, there's still some good fights out there for him. At 35 years old, though, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, two losses in a row now. Two losses in a row for Mr. Brazil. So, he needs to think about his future. As for Otto Wallen, big win. Um, you know, beating a top contender. A former top contender. Uh, Otto Wallen definitely has solidified himself as one of the top contenders in the heavyweight division. Alongside there with uh, Luis Ortiz. At least in my opinion. Ooh, actually that would be a good fight. Luis Ortiz. You know, while Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua do their thing. You know, Otto Wallen can fight Luis Ortiz. I mean, why not, right? Why not? I mean, if you look at the rankings right now in the heavyweight division. Um, you know, we have Fury and Joshua who will most likely fight soon. Uh, Alexander Uzik will most likely fight Joe Joyce for the interim title for WBO. We have Joseph Parker who... Oh, shoot. Forgot that he has a fight coming up against Junior Fa. Um, Robert Hilanius will be having a rematch with uh, Kaunaski. Oh, Wilder. Oh, I completely forgot about Wilder, man. Otto Wilder can fight Wilder. I mean, that would be a good fight for, for Wilder. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Luis Ortiz is also another good fight for Wallen. Andrew Ruiz, who most likely fight Chisora next. Um, you know, there's some good fights out there for Otto Wallen. And I think he can definitely compete against any, any of the top fives here for the heavyweight division. Top 15, top 5. I can't believe he's ranked number 15. No way. He's not even ranked by the WBC. Come on. Number 14 under the WIBF. Not even by the dub. Oh my goodness. He he can't compete against any of these guys. Otto Wallen. He he can't. He can't. And I I hope he um you know they add him into the rankings um in this other sanctioning bodies because he, he 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 deserves to be in there in the mix with the top fifteen guys. Hopefully, hopefully next. So anyway, congrats to Mr. Otto Wallen on the win. Looking forward to seeing him fight again. Um you know, he, he seems like he's a very technical boxer for a heavyweight. It's pretty, it will be interesting to see how he'll do in the future. Um, and yeah, um, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.